Hi everyone, thanks for stopping back by my channel. This is Lavandria with the Imperfectly Planned Life and today I am sitting down to do my 2020, my January 2020 budget and I'm super excited because it feels like my husband and I are entering into a different phase of life um, starting in 2020. So if you're interested to see or hear about our new phase and to see how I budget, stay tuned. Okay. So typically, typically my budgeting process includes me sitting down to map out when my bills are due. I personally like to use a planner and I write my bills out um, because I like to have a visual of when I am getting paid versus when my bills are going to be due. I use this kit. This kit is from the Style Planner. The Style Planner, I love her kits. I've actually used several of her kits and they are perfect for the Erin Con Condren, which that's what I am using. <clears throat> These kits fit perfectly and I love everything about the kit. I love that they include foil. I love that um, I believe she hand does some of this work. Um, they are just truly beautiful. I have not gotten a kit that I've been disappointed with. Um, the, the good thing about the kits are that the kits do come with a sidebar. The sidebar is pretty much blank here, but she provides script stickers and deco for you to put what you want to go into these boxes. So for this month, um, I have goals, projects, and I'm going to do a little pre-planning for next month's budget. Like I said, my husband and I are entering into a different phase in life a little bit. And so I'm trying to, I'm going to take 2020 to get even more on top of our finances. In 2019, we were able to pay off, well, from August to December, we paid off $16,000 in debt. If you follow me on Instagram, you did see, um, how or the items that we paid off we paid off five thousand dollars in student loans and then six thousand i mean eleven thousand for my 2014 pathfinder and lastly we have have two small debts that are still outstanding because our goal for last quarter was to pay off twenty thousand dollars worth of debt but we actually only ended up paying off um like i said 16 which in and of itself, it's nothing to be sad about, nothing to be disappointed about. I'm super excited, and I truly cannot wait for 2020 and what it has in store for us because the debts that we paid off, that student loan payment, that car payment, those are things that won't be recurring again. I don't have any plans on going back to school anytime soon, so, you know, that student loan payment won't be coming back and we don't have any intentions of getting a new car a new car at any point from here on out I believe we are going to buy you know wise car I mean used cars and we're going to try to make them our Dave cars like you say a reliable trusty car that we can pay for in cash so that's our goal and because that is our goal, now we're entering into a different phase of our money, our financial journey, where we want to save as much as possible. We haven't determined what our savings goal is going to be yet, but we do know that we want to save. So like I was saying, in order to accomplish all those goals, I like to use my budget planner. And this is just the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, as I stated. And I use, um, I use kits in this planner because I like to be a decorative planner. I like my um, items pretty. And because I know that they're so beautiful, it causes me to reach for the planner more often and more frequently. So that increases my chances of looking at my bills. Um... I will say one of the benefits of using a planner like this is you get to determine how if you have any um, money mis mismatches. And basically what that means is that you will receive money before, far before a bill is due or far after a bill is due. So it kind of helps you with scoping out how you should um, schedule your paychecks or how you should um you know, plan out your money. So I like to, 
I like this part of my planner to be all inclusive for everything that has to deal with money. So not necessarily just bills. I also have like fish fry because I know I'm going to have to donate some, um, some things. I have Jacksonville here because I know I'm going to be traveling out of town. So I know I'm going to have to, you know, get a room or get something. So I like to include those things here as well. So now that I've showed you how I use these pages, now we can go into setting up our budget. And I kind of started, um, or whatever, I just put January 2020, estimated, actual, and plus or minus, but I missed the word income. So I'm going to write the word income here. And that's it. So... For my decorative element on this page, I'm just going to keep it simple. If I can find. So I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to try to use um, this unopened packet to see if I can cut my washi tape. I am using some thin washi tape, uh, washi strip or whatever, because I found that I was running out of lines and I didn't like it. Like I, I need... Interestingly enough, I need all the space on this page, especially with this hexagon, <laughs> because the hexagon takes up additional space. And I need all the space in my budget planner because I actually use all the space. So I'm going to use some thin washi. And I'm going to cut it this way. So yeah, don't come for me in the comments, but this is really ghetto. <laughs> so excuse that, but I'm going to use it and it's going to, it looks just fine. And I'm going to try my hand. So, so the first income is my income, which is monthly. So I'm going to put my income, I'm just going to put LV and Erd. Ardell is my husband. So for me, my estimated income should be around 4600 I am salaried and I know the exact amount, but when I'm doing my estimated, I normally just round. Um, except for my husband, because his, I definitely took time to learn. Like I know, I didn't, I don't know the pennies, but I know his exactly. So now from here, I'm going to put the total income. So, total income. Is 6,719 dollars. And I am also going to add rollover from my bank. So this is just money that we have, additional money that we have in the account. And I'm going to estimate that that's about $1,600. So total, my total available funds is going to be, let me pull out my calculator, y'all. So my total available funds will be 4,600 plus nine plus 8,319 dollars. Okay. And then, um, now I am going to move to our expense section. So I'm going to end this. And mark it off here. <clears throat> okay. Like I said, I like to use these decorative elements on my planner because I truly believe it makes your budget come alive and it gives you, you know, something pretty. So when your numbers are looking a little depressing, at least the bright colors and things, uh, you know, cheer you up and say, hey, girl, you know, at least you're trying to do the work. Because one of the things that I'm learning about money management, life in general, is that the hardest part 
is actually doing the work and doing what you need to do to make you successful. <clears throat> so, yeah, so at least you are trying to do the work and then however you need it to keep you focused, do that. So now we have our expenses. So our expenses, and then I'm gonna put budgeted, actual, and then plus slash minus. <clears throat> okay. So my actual, so, so my first expense is daycare. My husband, so I did not mention this. My husband is paid every two weeks and I am paid on a monthly basis. So when I do my budget, even though this is a, I am saying that this is for January, it's because we like to pay all of our bills essentially a month in advance. So I'm going to, this money for 4600 is actually my paycheck for December. And I'm going to use my December paycheck to pay all of my bills for January. So then when my husband gets paid again, I come back and I do a separate budget related to that one individual paycheck. And in that paycheck, we do different things. So these, our two checks combined here is what pays our monthly household expenses. And then his off check we use that to do our savings and our debt snowballs and things like that so for daycare we have we're going to budget six hundred dollars we have two little kids and both of them are in daycare and y'all it's twelve hundred dollars a month that's all i gotta say so we have a mortgage on our first home and our mortgage is actually five ten and then we are in the process of building another home and that's my second mortgage and right now the payment for that is 270 because this is a construction this is a construction loan we are only paying interest at this time so we're paying $270 worth of just for interest on borrowing the money hopefully they will be further along in our building process soon um we met with the builder on Saturday and we got some really great news. So hopefully we'll see more progress. Um, leave it in the comments and let me know if you guys would like to see how my building process actually is going. I am using a company called America's Home Place. Um, and I'm actually enjoying the process. So I figured I didn't see many reviews about the company. And so I figured I will vlog my experience with them so that I can give others who are interested in buying a home and, you know, you want to work within a reasonable budget. American Home Place, I would say, is a great choice to go with. So I highly recommend you guys checking them out if you're in the process of building a home. Okay, so that was not a paid sponsorship or anything. That's just been my experience so far. Um, but I'm thinking about doing a vlogging series to let you guys see um, what's going on with my house and things like that. So let me know if you guys would be interested because I'm really excited to do it, especially since I just picked up a new camera for Christmas. I want to, you know, get the most out of it. And I think it'll be fun and exciting. So I'm, yeah, let me know. So I just wrote down our light bill, um, which is 274. We have trash that will be due. We pay trash um, quarterly. And to make sure that I keep up and track those, I use this calendar to track paydays and bills that do not occur on a monthly basis. So these dots right here, these dots are for our trash. The blue dots that you see here, that is for our pest control, which is $75. And of course, the 15th green, that is tax day. So we just need to make sure that we pay our taxes by the 15th. This is for our insurance. And yeah. And since this calendar actually ends in, since my planner actually ends in June, I did the paychecks for the year, but I didn't do any of the other bills because I was just using up the dots, I guess. But this planner actually ends in June. So, so we have trash that is 
$49. Next up is our cable. My cable bill is $218. And that is because we actually have three combined services with this bill. We have our security, our internet, and we have cable. All three of those services come up to $218. Um, we are with Xfinity, and I must say that I love it. My husband loves it. So I don't foresee us... Um, getting rid of it unless when we move to our new home which is in a which is in a rural area once we move there um, Xfinity may not be offered next is my gym fees which is $24 I am a member of Planet Fitness you guys and I love it. I've recently gotten back into the habit of going and it was what I needed. Y'all, I can do a whole video on productivity and how my morning routine has helped me increase my productivity. I love it. So life insurance, my life insurance for my husband and I is $94. We have term life insurance and it's $94 and that's kind of high, but Right now, we're just going to keep it there until we shop for some more. Nine is our next one is Great Lakes. My husband is actually a PhD student, and he took out initially when he started going to school, he took out student loans. But as we progressed through the program, and I say we because this was a this program is a joint effort between us because I make sacrifices for him to be in this program as well. And he makes sacrifices. So our family is enrolled in this program at this current moment. But anyways, so he took out the student loans. And now we don't we no longer um, take out student loans. We're just in the process of paying them, paying it back or whatever. Fortunately, it's still deferred since he is still a student. So we don't technically have to make any payments, but we are trying to, because we're on a debt-free journey or to get rid of all, all of the consumer debt that we possibly can, we still make monthly payments. And right now we pay $150. So Ashley, this is actually Wells Fargo. We took out a, um, we opened up Ashley's furniture credit card um, because we got a new sofa set. And at the time, the promotion was 0% interest on your purchase. And, you know, the 0% sounded good. So we took it out and we've been paying $57 a month. We don't have that much left on it. And it was one of the things that we wanted to um, pay off. However, we didn't get around to actually paying it all the way off. So we're okay with the $57 a month payment. So that's what that is. And it's going to continue. Next is Heartland. And I'm about to spell this all wrong. Okay. Heartland ESCI. This is another one of my student loans. And it is a relatively small student loan. Um... These two items, so initially when I opened up the video, I said that we had a goal to pay off like $20,000 worth of debt. Out of that amount, these two are the two that we have remaining, and together they total about $3,000. So like I said, we paid off $16,000. It was $16,900 and something dollars, and what was remaining was the balance on these two, which came to like $3,000 and something. So... We did attack their balances and we did move the needle on them. We just were unsuccessful with closing them out. But as you can see, with those small monthly payments, it's on it's like a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifteen dollars a month. We could be saving that, but at this current moment, we're just gonna put it back in the payment rotation. And then once we meet our savings goal, then we'll go back to addressing those. So next we have Apple. And this is $10 a month. And that's for iCloud subscription service, I believe. We do have Netflix subscription. And that is $17. And then lastly, 
we have Sprint, which is my cell phone service, and it is one eighteen this month. Now, let me tell you, with Sprint, I have literally been battling Sprint because I upgraded my phone, and I was under the impression that when I upgraded my phone, that my phone would be free. I even had a sales rep that said, yes, your phone's going to be free. I double-checked with her, everything, before I signed the contract and everything. Well, here we are. That was like a year ago. Here we are today. The phone is nowhere near free. I have been paying for the phone. I have called them to get my bill corrected. All sorts of craziness has occurred. And last month in, well, in December is when we finally got, when they finally decided that, hey, we're going to figure out a way to get you some credit so that we can do reduce your bill. So now the bill is 118 However, I am not holding my breath. I have to see 118 on multiple months in order for me to believe that it is fixed because they they kind of pulled the okie doke on me like this before and it wasn't fixed and my bill increased from 149 to 185 like the following month. So if you have Sprint, check your bill. Check your bill. Make sure that they are billing you correctly. And if they are not, don't hesitate to call them. Call them and keep calling them because that's pretty much where I am. I just call, keep calling them. Next and last, we have Capital One. And it is $5 a month. Now, Capital One also gets on my nerves <laughs> because I have awesome credit. I have almost 800 credit score and they refuse to remove this five dollar a month um charge from it's like a a convenience fee or a card member fee or something and i have called and i've asked them you know can you remove that from me i have excellent credit there's no reason why i should have it you know all this stuff and they literally told me no so i said okay Unfortunately, this is also my oldest credit card at the current moment. And like I said, we're getting a construction loan. And so because we're getting a construction loan, I can't make um, a lot of adjustments to my credit at this current moment. But baby, let me tell you, the minute that we close on this mortgage and we are settled, this card got has to go, has to go. Even though it's $60 a year, it only has a credit limit of, I think, $1,500. I have several credit cards with limits higher than that. So, yeah, it has to go. And those credit cards also do not charge me a member fee. So, yeah, this one is on my target list as something that has to go. Then we can put that $60 towards something something else. So, that, we I actually missed one. So, the other thing I have is my husband's cell phone. And honestly, guys, let me tell you, my husband is the best person ever. His cell phone bill is only $2. He switched his cell phone plan to the, um, he switched his cell phone to Xfinity. So he has Xfinity service. And so he turns off his, um, he only does Wi-Fi calling and every now and then he uses the phone, but his Cell phone bill normally averages between two and three dollars. He even went out of the country, and that was still about how much he averages. And as you can see, his wife, <laughs> Miss um, Spend Delicious over here, my phone bill, I told you it went up to 185, but that was not my fault. And so, yeah, I couldn't necessarily control it. But I am proud of him for his cell phone bill. And y'all, I am drawing these lines crooked, baby. They are crooked. But that's okay. We're going to keep, we're going to roll with it. We gonna, we are going to roll with it. <clears throat> I will be the first to tell you that I can't cut straight. I can't draw a straight line. And, yeah. Well, I'm trying. Okay, that's a little bit better. It has crooks and bumps and stuff in it, but it's okay. We're going to make it do what it do. It's going to work for us today. Okay, so now I am going to total up my expenses, just like I did my income, to see um, where I am. And so let me put... So my total expenses... 
and I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator here. Y'all, I'm just not figuring out all these shortcuts on the iPhone. I used to have to unlock my phone and everything to make it make sure that I'm getting in so I can use the calculator. But my husband was like, why are you going through all that trouble? You, you know, you could just use it from your screen and you could do all this. I'm like, no, I didn't know that. I just use the phone. I I am seasoned in that manner where I let my husband um do the gadgets. But I'm I'm my goal in 2020 is to be better because you know I need to be a little more aware of these things so that I can know how to do them. So I have two thousand. Four hundred and forty-six dollars is our total expenses. Our total budgeted expenses, and now I'm going to do my remaining. I hope you guys cannot hear that um the gunshots because you know it's new year's eve and people are doing crazy stuff i don't know i can't explain it i don't try to explain it i just know it's crazy why shoot a gun why but anyways so eight thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars is our income and we are going to subtract out uh two thousand four hundred forty six and that's going to give us $5,873 remaining. <laughs> of this, now I have to name out my sinking funds, which they're not sinking funds, but this is how I coordinate our living expenses. We have $1,000 living expenses, and I'll break it out for you. So for gas, food, gas and food, we combine that into one category because we typically shop at Costco and we buy our groceries from Costco and we get gas at Costco. So we just leave that there. So for gas and food, <clears throat> so gas slash food, we normally do $6.50. And then we have allowances for both of us, which is 200. And then we have eating out at 150. So that's a thousand dollars. Let me make sure. Okay. So that's a thousand dollars. So six fifty plus two fifty plus six fifty plus two hundred plus one fifty is a thousand. That's what I thought. And so that leaves us at four thousand eight hundred seventy three dollars that we will be using. So this is our savings goal. All right.